Aquarius, welcome into your reading. It is wonderful to have you here. We're going to be asking your spiritual team to please come in and to show us the messages that you need to receive at this time. So talking about your spiritual team, Aquarius, let's call them in so they can come and give us the advice we need to receive. Spirit guides for all my Aquariuses who are watching, including the cross watchers, welcome into my spirit room. Please come in and guide me in this reading. Show me clearly for Aquarius what I need to see. And speak to me clearly for Aquarius what I need to hear. For the highest good for all my Aquarius as well who are watching, remember Aquarius this is a timeless reading. So whenever you get it, you are meant to receive it. Um, for those of you who are subscribed to this channel and who have come back again and again to watch these videos, I am greatly honored and graciously appreciated of you for coming back in again. If you are new here, my name is Deborah. Thank you for coming in and watching this reading with me. I'm greatly honored to be able to do this with you. First of all, if you do hear a little bit of a humming sound in the background, that is my fan running. Yes, it is. Um, <coughs> very hot for me at this moment in time we celebrate christmas in africa uh, in the summer so <laughs> apologies for my fan running let's get into your readings and your messages aquarius all right aquarius we've got the stag card coming in couldn't be a better card coming out as your first card it does say trust and thrive so you might be concerned at this moment about your long-term growth or even your long-term stability. You must trust that things are going to unfold for you. It's almost like I'm hearing Spirit God say, <clears throat> you will be held, you will be protected, and you will be held and even raised up. This is a very good energy. Let's see what other oracle cards come out for you at this time. We are going to get more information about each oracle card that I take out with clarifying cards from the tarot. So first of all, money situations, long-term stability, maybe even work-related. Is my career stable? Am I safe in the job that I have that I currently have? So what else comes up here? We've got the Hawk Prince coming in here. <clears throat> Spirit communication and paying attention. So you could also be, at this moment in time, be getting advice from your own spiritual team. And the way that certain events are going to be unfolding for you, Pay attention to all the little details. Pay attention to how things are working, how events are unfolding, because you could be being guided here towards some kind of uh, solving of a, of a problem or even an unfolding of your life, okay? So let's get into the last oracle card for you and see what we've got going on for you. Let's have a look and see for the last oracle card, what is the energy we need to see at this time for my cap, for my Aquarius is out there. Ceremony, invocation. So this is interesting. If there's anybody out there who's doing some kind of like a ritual or spell work or anything like that, you need to focus here on that invocation energy, meaning what is your intention here? Even if you are not doing something like this, for many of you out there, maybe you are lighting a candle and praying, or maybe more intricate, more complicated, um, as in a spell of some kind or some kind of ritual, like you're trying to do something that's going to maybe move or help your energy. Um, the words here are very important. They usually call, you know, we say we are spelling words. It is because words are spells. They are very powerful. What I know about this energy is that if I take, say, my crystal and I say, okay, blue calcite, I want you to help me. Um, the words that I speak to this, so if you can't just take a crystal, okay, and then put it down here and say, crystal, do your thing. The crystal has many properties and every single crystal will have a different, um, sort of like different things that it can actually do. You have to speak words to it. So you have to invoke it and say this is what i want you to do for me my blue cow south helps me to connect to my spirit guides and keeps the energy of my tarot reading readings raised up very high it helps me to communicate more clearly and um so what's coming in for you here really whatever you're trying to focus on whatever you're trying to bring in watch the power of your words because your words is going to be like 
a, a um, intention and that intention is going to shape where you are going and what's happening okay it's very interesting energy here coming in um definitely a bit of spirituality coming up in your reading which i quite like let's have a look and see here with the trust and drive energy please spirit guides all right we've got three cards that have just flipped over let me just continue shuffling so that the shuffling is done for the reading okay definitely a new beginning for you here showing up and i'll show you why but you are finding it a bit difficult so let's get that one ready right so we've got your yeah, temperance coming in trying to find balance in your life trying to find stability trying to find something is off balance first of all with temperance up with temperance coming in which is Sagittarius's energy there's an unbalance in your life in some way here which is causing you maybe to feel like you're not going to thrive or that money is not flowing the way that it's meant to flow it maybe comes in and then it's got to go out or it comes in and um <clears throat> Uh, it may stop, it may come and go, it's not steady for you. Um, there is an unbalance in energy here in some kind of way. And I feel as if you're trying to change that with the Ace of Swords coming back in. You are really also really overthinking. That's why there's this like stairs going out into her mind. It's like you are also overthinking, how am I going to get this right? How do I solve this lack of balance here? How do I solve these two extreme situations that keep on happening? It's like I want to remain steady. I want to have a new beginning here where I'm thriving and I'm growing in life. And you really are taking steps to try to create this, but it can be a bit difficult. And I can see why you were saying it's difficult because in pops the seven of wands. You are trying to create something. You're really doing, you're making an effort. Without a doubt, you are definitely... <clears throat> Um, doing something physically you're not just sitting back and overthinking you're taking actual practical steps here there's a lot going on with those ones coming towards you there could be a lot of competition there could be a lot of um, things that need to be solved there could be a lot of difficulties that you are facing trying to move into this growth energy that you want to so badly see so that you can find the balance in your life you will be able to get this right with these two cards this is what you need to know keep on going keep on handling everything that's coming towards you you will find a way through here okay without a doubt you're going to find a way through okay let's get the clarifiers out for you <coughs> and find out what's what let's go deeper let's find out more information about what's going on here you are definitely going to find a way through. You're going to find a way through this and you're going to get through the other side as long as you keep on doing what you're doing. I do feel like it's a lot going on. So some of you may be a bit tired. Some of you may be feeling like, wow, I'm, wow. You see the card that just came out. Um, some of you may be feeling like you're tired and even underneath, there we go, the seven of wands, seven of cups with the seven of wands. You could even be burning out overthinking about how you are going to get something right here overthinking um how am i going to find that balance how am i going to get things to be the way i want it to be really a lot of thinking look what shows up here above the temperance the two of cups there is your balance you will find it you're going to put something straight in your life here where it is not balanced look it comes in as balanced you will put it right you're going to put this right. Oh, yes, Cap uh, Aquarius. I keep saying Capricorn. Do you have a Capricorn in your life? I'm just saying. Um, high Priestess comes in here. Work on the energy of what you are doing. And that would be quite a spiritual reading for you as well. Um, this would be working on your energy. <clears throat> when you're thinking like this, pay attention to how you're thinking about solving problems. Um, don't think from a place of uh, like fear going, oh my God, things are going to go horribly wrong. I don't know what I'm going to do. This is going to be really bad. How am I going to pay this? Move into the high priestess energy. The high priestess is always looking at things from a point of view of all in alignment. Everything is unfolding for me in perfect divine order. Everything is moving the way it's meant to be. It's, it's fated for me that things will move in, in the way that I am supposed to move in. She is trusting that all is well in her world and she is looking into the unknown and saying to herself in that unknown energy it unfolds perfectly for me and this is a lot of the energy that you're going to have to start putting into your thought here okay with the seven of wands we have got justice oh my goodness 
things are absolutely going to be all right. Okay, Justice card coming in one more time, showing that the beautiful balance is coming in for you. Just keep going a little bit further. Be at peace, Aquarius, knowing that justice is going to be unfolding for you. It's going to be unfolding in your favor. Anything that could be attacking you, people maybe that could be even doing things towards you, um, coming towards you, trying to disrupt your life, trying to get to you, things will unfold for you in your favor. Something negative is absolutely going to come to an end here, and you are going to be moving forward in a beautiful, balanced energy. So let's get in here for the Hawk Prince and find out. There we go. It's very spiritual energy, very deep energy with regards to... Um, events unfolding, situations happening here, yeah, all is unfolding for you. Almost like with all these cards that have come out here, you could be going through something in your life that's like moved into like the Wheel of Fortune energy, meaning that it's almost like moving, that wheel is moving. Things are happening exactly the way they're meant to be happening, and it is going to move into another time. It's almost like a new beginning for you here. But events are taking place right now that are bigger than you. And you're going to have to almost like go with the flow of what that is. Okay. So let's see what comes up here. The Eight of Cups. The Seven. The Queen of Wands. Very nice energy. Spirit Guide. That's what I'm hearing them say. And the Devil Card. Okay. So yes. Um, there is definitely something here. I feel that these cards are got a little bit of a separate energy. I'll just bring up the Eight of Cups. Something is definitely changing here. Um, there's a couple of events coming in. A couple of events coming in. I feel like that you need to be paying attention to your spirit guide. Okay, we've got Queen of Wands coming in here. I feel like this is a spiritual guide that you have. It could almost be in female energy or even a past on loved one. Um, they are letting us know that you are definitely walking away from something here, Capricorn, uh, Aquarius. So what is going on with me with your Capricorn energy? Really? But anyway, um, if you were to pass on loved one that was Capricorn, that could be this one I'm picking up on here. Then if it definitely feels like it could be that person. Um, for that, you, you have a pass on loved one, there you here. So with this Eight of Cups energy, you are truly walking away from something here. Something is definitely going to be let go of in your life. And I think it's about time. I think it's definitely you meaning to walk away. With regards to this Queen of Wands, spiritual energy. I felt it immediately. They said spirit. And I was like, okay, this is them. They are communicating with you. They are trying to show you. And they are asking you to pay attention as well. The paying attention energy is tied to this devil card. Yeah, you are showing up in your own reading. I feel like there could be somebody coming in here. Or a situation that feels too good to be true. And they are giving you a little bit of a warning. What seems like such a good offer or somebody that's so amazing, there could be hidden things about this person or the situation that you need to pay attention to. For me, I feel like this is a no. Okay, that's a, that's a no energy. It's too good to be true. This seems like it's just, look at, look at him. I mean, this is too good to be true. Okay, it's like there's something hidden here. There's something about this that if you go into the, what this offer is, um, it could end up hurting you in some kind of way. So pay attention to this energy. Let's see what aligns with this here. Seven of Pentacles, you are walking away from that fear that you have here about some kind of financial issues in your life, stability. That is the same energy. That's the same energy. You are looking at Seven of Pentacles, worrying about the thriving, worrying about the growth that you're going to be having. And you are definitely going to be walking away from long-term worries about <clears throat> where money is coming from, how your life is going to be in a couple of years from now or months from now, about your stability, your home, your career, your job. That is the stress that you're walking away from. Congratulations. Very positive shift. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. The Ace of Cups. They are letting you know that you do have a new beginning. I can see it here. I mean, we have an Eight of Cups coming in here, walking away from something that's not working for you. You do have a new beginning coming in. It's almost like they're, they're sending it to you. They're like, who they're blowing it towards you, you know, this beautiful energy. And she's like saying, look, we are sending a new beginning to you. For some of you guys, this can even be a new relationship coming in for you here. If it is a new relationship, um, that has been divinely orchestrated for you. This person <coughs> is being sent to you, okay? It is not this person. 
Not at all. So pay attention. There could even be, like I would say, like a false energy coming in here. Maybe even before you receive the one you're meant to receive or the situation you're meant to receive. I feel like there's a warning here. There's like, before this comes in, there's a fake thing going on here. And I want to see what that is. No, oh, yes. Yes, absolutely. There's an event coming in before the Ace of, the Ace of Cups. They, this is too good to be true. And they will leave you feeling like this. Be it an offer, be it a job offer, be it a love offer, an opportunity that pops up and they're like, invest this money here. Or they're like, no, come, we're going to hire you. It's going to be amazing. If it sounds too good to be true, be careful. This is going to leave you very, very disappointed or hurt as well. Okay. Needing to recover from that. So I kind of like look out for this is just too good to be true. Okay. Then pay attention. Re hold your energy back from it. Wait and see what happens. You will quickly see um, the truth of the situation, their behavior. So let's see what comes in here with the invocation. Okay. <coughs> Two of Wands. The Seven of Cups and the Eight of Wands. A change is coming. So you got a change coming in here very, very soon with this energy. Okay? And when, before this change comes in, make yourself very clear in your mind what you want. Uh, be very clear what kind of life you want to step into. I can see a change is coming. I can see a change is coming. Um, be very clear about what it is you want because of the Seven of Cups coming in here. Be very, very clear about what you want to see in your life. Make decisions right now about what you're going to leave behind, what you're going to want to move into, and make those decisions right now. Have a clear intention. The invocation must be clear because there's something coming in, a big change coming in. Apologies. Very, very quickly. I would sit down with a book and pen and I would write down what I would like to see in one line and what I don't want in the other line. I would divide the page in half and I would say, this is what I want and that's what I don't want and have that intention here. Okay, uh, change is coming. With this energy, two of swords, you are not aware of this right now. You are not aware of this and you may for some of you you may not really know what you want uh, you might be going i'm not really sure what will make me happy go within go within make that list write down this is what makes me happy this is what not make what doesn't make me happy and all the things that make you happy that's what you want okay cross out all of that that's your eight of cups and figure out that will be your ace of cups over there um and then focus on that energy all right and um, with the seven of cups let's have a look and see Five of Pentacles, make sure part of your decision making involves you feeling safe, involves you feeling um, and focusing on the money as well. So make decisions that is going to be good for you financially, but also and that will make you feel safe. And anything that makes you feel like insecure, um, like I'm not sure about the future, or this person makes me feel insecure, move away from that, that is, okay? With the seven of wands, what do we have got? What do we got? It's long-term stability. It's coming in very quickly. Whatever you choose right now, I feel like you've got free will coming into this reading. Whatever you choose to have with this invocation energy, your life is going to move into that direction. So focus on what it is you want to see and not what you don't want to see. And make sure what you are choosing here, make sure the life that you, you want to step into, it's truly what you want. Because you're going to be in this life for a long time. The Three of Pentacles shows a grounded energy of some way that your life is going to be for a very long time. Make sure you choose what you want to see when you move into this new beginning. There we go. Thank you so much, Aquarius, for being here. I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.